this is a surgical treatment, but instead of me using a knife, I'm using an enzyme. I numb the patients up. We let it sit 15, 20, 30 minutes. I'm typically injecting anywhere from 10 to 14 different spots in the hand with a whole bottle of enzyme. After they have this done, and then they go home, I tell them strict elevation for six hours. No ice for six hours after the enzyme. This is a temperature sensitive enzyme. So if you ice it right away, you actually might slow the mechanism of action of the enzyme. Every single person, 100%, will develop swelling, bruising, and tenderness where I inject. After six hours, this enzyme's done working, they ice it, they elevate it. The next day, I give them a local anesthetic. When their hand is nice and numb, I bend their wrist, I bend their fingers, and I go pop, 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 and I stretch, and frequently there's audible, palpable snapping, cracking, and popping as I stretch and manipulate the fingers and get them straight. It's common for the skin to split open. Many times there's a benefit when people get a skin split. When patients get a skin split, it allows all the fluid and swelling in easier space to escape. The skin splits heal from the inside out, and then when it heals, it heals with new skin, which tends not to be diseased, so it tends to be a, a, a brand new skin. Usually the skin splits heal within a few days. Sometimes it takes a couple weeks. Typically we'll give them a splint and I'll put a little shim underneath the fingers to shim up the finger to make it perfectly straight. They wear the splint at night, every night for the first two weeks. During the day, they do their exercises for one minute every hour that they're awake. There are three exercises for the stretching. One, you really get a massage in the palm to decrease the sensitivity. This is a surgery. People are really swollen, tender, and very sensitive when we do this. Two, we're gonna take the other hand and you're gonna curl the finger up and you're gonna squeeze his fingers all the way down like this to milk all the blood and food in the fingers. And you're gonna take the tips of the fingers and push them in as much as they can. Three, you take your index finger with the opposite hand. They're gonna bend the wrist, forming the C, a reverse C. And with this bent 90 degrees, they're gonna take the thumb, reach underneath, take their finger, and then with it bent, they're gonna stretch it nice and straight. And they'll do this for all three of these fingers. If you don't move your finger, it's gonna to wanna to contract back in that position it was in. We wanna be really aggressive to really stretch and manipulate this joint to maximize our results. Patients usually come back in two weeks, their hand looks like this, and it's tremendous improvement compared to what it was before, and patients usually look at two weeks what they would normally look like six to eight weeks after regular surgical treatment. Unfortunately, this is a disease. And because this is a disease, Dupuytren's frequently comes back. Surgical treatment has a lower recurrence rate than the enzyme, but it's much more invasive. But there's a very high recurrence rate for both. The beautiful thing and the real powerful thing about this enzyme from a long-term standpoint is if this disease comes back, you just inject it again. If you have surgical treatment and it comes back, it's really difficult to operate a second or third time. And I think that is the true and real powerful thing about this enzyme from a long-term standpoint, is if this comes back, you just inject it again.